Hi everyone and welcome to Morning Devotions. Hope everybody's doing good this morning. I slept a little late, so I'm running a little late, a little behind today. Okay, on our prayer request, Crystal's grandfather passed away. Pray for her and her family. Stacy has tumors on her organs and a mass on her breast plus blood cancer. Pray she gets better. And Kathy Smith is sick and going to be tested for COVID. Pray she'll be okay. And Al is in the hospital. Pray he's okay. Janet Kay's friend Belinda passed away. Pray for her and Belinda's family. Our devotions, I mean our scripture of the day comes from Galatians 5, 13 through 26. You, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free, but do not use your freedom to indulge the flesh. Rather, serve one another humbly in love, for the entire law is fulfilled in keeping this one command. Love your neighbors as yourself. If you bite and devour each other, watch out or you will be destroyed by each other. So I say walk by the Spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the flesh desires what is contrary to the Spirit and the Spirit what is contrary to the flesh. They are in conflict, conflict with each other so that you are not to do whatever you want. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. The f acts of the flesh are obvious. Sexual immortality, immorality, impurity, and debauchery, idolatry and witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissensions, factions, and envy, drunkenness, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I did before, that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking and envying each other. Okay. Oh no, I think I have to sneeze. <coughs> Gosh. Excuse me. I didn't know it would knock something down to sneeze unless Kitty did that. She's around here somewhere. I'm sorry. My allergies have been bothering me some. <clears throat> okay. Our devotion today is entitled Borrowed Shoes. In the chaos of chaos of fleeing his home during the California wildfires of twenty eighteen, Gabe, a high school senior, missed the state qualifying cross country race for which he had been training. Missing this meet meant he wouldn't have the chance to compete at the state meet, the culminating event of his four-year running career. In light of the circumstances, the state, athletics, the state athletics board gave Gabe another chance. He'd have to run a qualifying time by himself on a rival high school's track in street shoes because his running shoes were in the charred rubble of his home. When he showed up to race, Gabe was surprised by his competitors who had come to supply him with the proper shoes and to run alongside him to ensure he kept the pace necessary to be entered in the state meet. Gabe's opponents had no obligation to help him. They could have given in to their natural desires to look out for themselves. Doing so might have improved their own odds of winning. But Paul urges us to display the fruit of the Spirit in our lives to serve one another humbly in love, and to demonstrate kindness and goodness. 
when we lean on the Spirit to help us not act on our natural instincts, we, we're better able to love those around us. How are you showing the fruit of the Spirit in the way you treat others? How can you better love your neighbor? Dear God, my natural desire is to look out for myself. Help me to serve others out of love for you. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on the prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs and help anybody out there that's been affected by the virus, Lord. Lord, send my pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoy this morning's devotions. Please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that. So you get all my videos as soon as they come out. It's sunny out. The rain's gone. So I'll definitely be out there walking a little bit. Excuse me. And I'll see everybody then. God bless.